Today we're going to teach you how to do a wall one. Um, we're going to do a um, wall one on a straight flat wall, not a warped wall. We don't, we don't need a wall just like this. You can just um, find a wall anywhere just to practice the wall length technique. So first we are going to talk about the approach. The awesome thing is about um, when you learn the approach, you have to get familiar with the steps with enough spacing from the wall. And, and after a while, when you keep practicing this move, you'll know what distance to get it just right. But at the beginning, you might need to count out the steps a little bit to get the wall run down just right. When you're taking off, you're just gonna w running at the wall. You're gonna start running towards the wall. You're gonna get comfortable jumping up the wall. You, you don't have to worry about getting high up yet. So as you approach the wall, you're gonna um, get a nice spot with your leg at the wall you don't want to be too close with your leg and you don't want to be too far away with your leg or you can't really reach very well you can when you're running really fast and getting a lot of momentum you can actually be a little bit farther from the wall this is like a um fame a comfortable spot for most people. Now you're just gonna practice jumping and place and pushing off the wall with your wall jump, and it's good to practice this with both both legs. This is my left leg is my strong leg, so I do it with my. That's the way I practice, but it's up to you to which one feels more comfortable. You just. You're not worrying about getting enough speed. Just You're just practicing jumping and pushing against the wall. And at the same time as you're um, jumping up, you're getting your center of gravity up. And you're going to get a lot of weight and pressure because it's just going to increase your chance of your shoes slipping. It's really about pushing into the wall and getting the push transfer up upwards. It's, you're not pushing down like in the ladder. It's like blocking against the wall and bouncing. But it's going to get all about the leg strength and leg power. It's going to get your um, momentum to go up. You can start adding more speed, try and jump and reach higher on the wall. But when you, when the placement on the wall is going to be a little bit different, you're just jumping onto the wall. You want to you wanna make sure you're really jumping high and pushing against the wall. And the right planting with your hip is, you're also jumping from the ground and your foot to be hip height. If I'm this high, that means my hip is going to be up here. It will take a lot of experimenting to know how much speed you need and how far you need to be and how far away you need to jump from the wall and how close you are to the wall. There's a lot of variables to think to think about. You don't want to do it too fast, like sprinting. Then you might miss your foot and slam into the wall and slip down the wall. And all that speed and slam into it, running up. And when I get closer, I steep up, um, speed up and get the last couple steps and jump, hip off the wall and straight up as high as you can. And you can use your hands a little bit to get a little bit reach with your um to grab onto the top. Everything has to happen fast. And your walk kick has to be really quick. You don't have, you don't gonna get on enough power. You have to control your momentum as you're in the air, and 
and you want your to your feet to line up to your hip and jumping off the guy and you push against the wall and the two momentums will force your um body up. Your hands couldn't get you up a little bit and reach um either with both hands or one hand and you grab and go into the climb up. Now I'll teach you how to do a proper climb up technique and strength training for climb ups and muscle ups in another tutorial so stay tuned for that.